He's literally just come off the stage. We've just grabbed him. We've just got him. And how was that? How was that for you? It was amazing, actually. It's one of the best festivals I've played here in London. Tong and you have also, like, you've just been releasing some of his essential yeah. mix, and he's right. been speaking so highly of you, actually, today. He was saying you were one of his artists to watch, even more so for the summer. Right. I mean, having someone like Pete Tong, like, give you that kind of credibility. He's such a legend. Right. It must be just great. It is. I mean, because I grew up listening to him in the 90s, so... Hi guys! <laughs> Hi, I'm Santa. You're watching Muzu TV. I'm joined with a lovely Luke friend. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. And he's performing at Fusion Festival on the 30th and 31st of August. Yes, indeed. In Birmingham. Don't forget about it. And if you guys want to start sending in your questions to Luke, hashtag Luke Fusion Fest, then you guys might be winning some tickets because he can pick only one lucky winner for having the best question. And also, your history in music lies a lot in R&B and hip-hop. Like, you know, you've worked with artists like Will Smith and, like, bigger hip, like, even bigger hip-hop artists, like, you know, Friends with Jay-Z and all these big dogs. Do you feel like that production, what, having that sort of history has, like, affected your sound now when you're making music? It's Sunday at Sundown Festival. The sun is going down. Ella Air, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Enjoyed by the beautifully stunning Katie B. <laughs> She's just come off stage. How was it? And also, speaking of carnival, you played at Rinse FM stage. That performance, yes, was amazing. And also, Groove Armando on the decks as well. Like, how was it for you? Because you seem like really, like, just loving it. And then, main stage last year, main stage this year. It's, so it's, uh, it's fantastic. It's nice, the nice build up over the years. Absolutely, like, it feels yeah. like you kind of get to know everyone a lot better from well, the start. It's a beautiful thing to be out, uh, you know, touring around the festivals all summer and then come back to London. This is like my hometown festival. Yeah. So, it's a great way to end the festival. And also, like, quickly, like, your daughter, Becky, she's got her own, night like, juice box. And she also is DJing as well. So does it ever, you know, does she turn to you for advice? Like, <laughs> or, I mean, you know what it's like? I mean, like, any parent, you kind of like, must be very proud about what she's doing at the moment. That's, that's amazing. You literally went from just going, from listening to, like, some grunge bands, to then the hip-hop, to then the house, to then your natural curiosity took you further and further. Yeah, totally. And now you're playing on stages here, like, yeah. the electric. It was um, probably meant to be, I think. And your party is doing incredible, and congratulations for Thank all you. the success that you've been having. I'm very happy, very happy. You've done an amazing job here today at Eastern Electric. So Thank you. And that was it already. You, amazing. Thanks for Thanks. the interview. Thanks for the chat. Yeah. Thank you. You've Let me know it. Let me know when you're in Ipsa. I will then. do. I definitely will do. And you've been watching TMI on Zanta and Tini. Thank you very much.